we're live. Great. Uh, the time is now 6.31. Uh, I'd like to call to order a meeting of the Penichuk Water Special Committee uh, held on Wednesday, April 18th, uh, 2018 in the Aldermanic Chamber. Uh, would the clerk please call the roll? Yes, uh, Alderman at Large David Tenza. Here. Alderman at Large, uh, excuse me, Alderman Richard Dowd, I'm here. And uh, filling in is Alderman O'Brien. Present. Okay, so we have a quorum. Also present is Larry Goodyear and Don Ware from the Penichuk. Great. Uh, period of public comment. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I see. Um, no, we'll have you up here in just one moment. Uh, communications. There are none. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. There is one. From Larry Goodyear, CEO, CFO, Penetrate Corporation. Annual meeting of the shareholders uh, referred to the committee on 41018. So with that being said, I'd like to make a motion to recommend the election of the following individuals to the Penetrate Corporation Board of Directors, each for a three-year term until their successes are elected and qualified. David Bernier, Steve Janest, Thomas J. Leonard, and authorize the mayor to transmit by proxy card the vote for the sole shareholder to the board of directors of the Penichuk Corporation. Uh, there's a motion uh, on the floor. Do we discussion. Put, so you want to discussion? Any discussion? Seeing do, none. Do we want them to come up and? No, we don't have to on this one. Okay. Sure. What, Larry? Why don't we have you uh, come up? Come up and just talk. And we'll have you talk about the uh, shareholder meeting on May 5th. Yes. And if the green light's on, the microphone is working? Yes. Correct. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. So the current motion is to recommend the three, election of the three successes to the board of directors. And there was no discussion, so. We call for a call yeah, for vote. vote. Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, the ayes have it. All right. Uh, uh, next communication is from Larry D. Goodhues, CEO, CFO, Penishuk Corporation. Referencing the Pittsfield Aqueduct Company, Inc., request for approval to refinance the intercompany debt with Penishuk Corporation, referred to the committee on 41018. Like a make a motion to recommend final passage. Okay, any discussion? Well, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. This is Larry Goodyear, CEO of Penetrate Corporation, with regard to this communication. Uh, thank you, Mr. Goodyear. And um, so, we've the the committee in the short time I've been here has he heard a number of these um, uh, requests <laughs> to uh, consolidate or refinance debt. Mm -hmm. um, can you just briefly? Uh, touch on why it's important to the to operations of, of Penichuk and how it uh, benefits the ratepayers. Absolutely. Uh, so this is the refinancing actually of a, a combination of a maturing intercompany loan between Pittsfield Aqueduct Company and Penichuk Corporation, as well as the conversion of some short-term payable obligations from Pittsfield Aqueduct to Penichuk Corporation at this time. <clears throat> In uh, May of 2008, Pittsfield Aqueduct Company uh, entered into an intercompany loan with Penichuk Corporation for $776,850. It was a term loan for 10 years with a balloon maturity. So it was interest only for the last 10 years, and it's maturing on May 1st uh, with that balloon due and payable. When that loan was first entered into, it was actually in support of capital expenditures that had been made in the Pittsfield Aqueduct Company at that time or prior. Um, and then was so in supportive of those capital expenditures. But at that time, Penichuk Corporation was uh, a publicly traded company. And so many of the debts that were put in place for the corporation at that time were of a balloon maturity nature, uh, with the consideration that at maturity, either you would refinance that debt, or probably more likely, the parent corporation, Penichuk Corporation, would do an equity raise in the public mar markets to keep true the 50-50 debt equity mix in the regulated utilities would use that equity money, downstream it into Pittsfield Aqueduct as an equity infusion, and then the money would come back up to Penichuk Corporation in repayment of that balloon maturity debt. 
Well, we are no longer a publicly traded company, as the, the committee is well aware, as of June 25, 2012. And as such, balloon maturity debt is a problematic uh, form of debt for any of the regulated utility companies. Uh, the, the rates, as they were established in the acquisition order for Penetra Corporation by the City of Nashua, um, <clears throat> basically has an inclusion of interest in the operating expenses, but the inclusion of principal is through depreciation funding that uh, to a limited extent and certainly does not provide uh, the resources to pay a balloon maturity obligation. It's not included in the rates. So number one, we have to refinance this balloon maturity debt or, or else at maturity, uh, there's no ability to settle it up. Secondly, Pittsfield Aqueduct um, has limited resources on its own to raise money for capital expenditures. There's not a lot of capital expenditures that happen in that small subsidiary as well. The two sources of capital are either state revolving fund loans for I identified and exclusive projects and or intercompany borrowings for the parent. Uh, and those would happen as short-term borrowings unless they are memorialized as long-term loans. So at this time, this loan is to refinance that maturing $776,850 and to convert $409,150 of short-term uh, payables from Pittsfield Aqueduct to Penichuk Corporation into this long-term loan because that $409,000 was actually incurred through capital expenditures over the last 10 years in, Penichuk, in Pittsfield Aqueduct. Uh, the new note is for 30 years. It's well within the uh, overall useful life of those assets and is fully amortizing. And so uh, with the rate structure we got adopted for PWW, it's currently in pendency uh, for an order from the PUC for PEU and will then be uh, approached for Pittsfield Aqueduct in its next red case. Our rates will then fully embrace the cash that is there to pay the principal and the interest in that fully amortizing obligation going forward. Questions? Just out, of, just out of curiosity, how many cities do they service? Uh, Pittsfield Aqueduct, Pittsfield? just one town. Just Pittsfield? Just Pittsfield, yes. Uh, prior to 2010, <clears throat> we had three North Country subsidiaries, uh, North Country water systems, Sunrise Estates in Middleton, New Hampshire, Lock Lake in Barnstead, New Hampshire, and Birch Hill in North Conway that were our North Country uh, water systems that were a part of the Pittsfield Aqueduct Company. With the, the um, uh, rate case for the 2009 test year for Pittsfield Aqueduct, um, it was approved to actually transfer those community water systems from Pittsfield Aqueduct to Penichuk East Utility, effective 12-31-2010. So now Pittsfield Aqueduct is solely for the town of Pittsfield. And, but you also have Barnstead and the other one that... Those, others, those other systems are now part of the 19 communities that Pittsfield... East, uh, Penichuk East Utility okay. Services. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Additional questions? Yeah. I, I have a question that may be unrelated to this, so if you'd uh, like to take it at a different time, it's fine. But um, the, the subsidiaries uh, such as Pittsfield uh, Aqueduct, um, w what's the benefit to, to Penichuk in the city of Nashua and in, in you folks holding on to those um, assets at this point? Uh, well, I mean, number one, we have those franchise areas where we've, uh, you know, we, we basically have owned those franchise areas pre-acquisition pre by the city. Um, and if, um, uh, if you go back into the historical records, the uh, settlement under DW 11026 where the city of Nashville purchased Penichuk Corporation was in settlement of the eminent domain uh, dispute that went for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, prior to that settlement was actually a ruling by the PUC that the city could have bought Penichuk only, but would have had to um, put together a $40 million mitigation fund for the orphaned communities that were serviced out of the consolidated group. Uh, Pittsfield Aqueduct does not have a workforce of its own, neither does Penichuk East Utility, does not have a fleet of vehicles. Uh, those are all employees and vehicles of Penichuk Waterworks and are cross-charged through a cost allocation agreement approved by the PUC to service those groups. So, you know, um, is there a benefit necessarily in order uh, owning that? Not necessarily. I mean, uh, Pittsfield Aqueduct is marginally profitable, um, so there is a, a positive there. Uh, we have 
uh, a legal obligation as the owner of that system to supply it. So if someone else was to uh, purchase that system, they would have to purchase it at least at the value that the city had paid for it as a part of the entire purchase, uh, and then would have to operate that system. Uh, the town of Pittsfield at one point in time had contemplated that and recently voted that they, that's not something that they wish to pursue at this point in time. Yeah, and, and Mr. Ware, our chief operating officer. Uh, the benefit to our Penichuk Waterworks customers are, as, as Larry indicated, you know, we all work for Penichuk Waterworks, but part of Larry's salary, part of my salary, part of the office space, which are all going to exist whether Pittsfield Aqueduct does or not, mm -hmm. gets charged off against Pittsfield Aqueduct. Part of the return on investment in the vehicles that we have gets charged off to Pittsfield Aqueduct, right. Penichuk East Utilities, and Penichuk Water Service Company. Uh, so, you know, a good deal, uh, you know, there's a, a fair apportioning. It's right. about 27% total of our general and administrative uh, salaries and overhead that gets allocated out. And like I said, the majority of that would still exist whether these other facilities did or not. Sure. So there is a, a tangible benefit there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Additional questions? Mm -hmm. uh, seeing none, the uh, motion on the floor is for... Uh, to recommend final passage, passage or to adopt the uh, <clears throat> adopt the communication. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Great. And uh, just a question, if I could. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding that this committee will then bring back a recommendation for next week's automatic meeting on these two issues. Yes. Uh, because our annual meeting is on May 5th, and our loan is due on May 1st, so that's why I was asking the question. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Uh, there's no unfinished business. Nope. Uh, new business resolutions, R18025, uh, authorizing the Penichuk Corporation and Pittsfield Aqueduct Company to refinance its intercompany debt. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to recommend final passage of R18025. All right, um, the recommendation is for final passage, or the motion is for final passage. Any discussion? Uh, seeing none, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. The ayes have it. Uh, there are no new business ordinances. Uh, any, no public comment? Alderman Gathlight, you're not here for public comment, <laughs> are you? <laughs> um, <laughs> remarks by the Alderman? Uh, non-public session is, oh, sorry. Yes, uh, <clears throat> to help these gentlemen out, uh, probably be best uh, the next procedure. I'm, I'm assumptive is uh, uh, Alderman Dow might be able to help out too. Is this going to finance then, or where, where's the next level for this? Board of Aldermen. To, the, to the full board, so we're meeting next week. So, yes. okay, so yes, I just want to make sure that it's clear for you. Appreciate now, that. Is it? Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, uh, no public, se no non-public session, I should say. Yes. Uh, so uh, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs> uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The meeting is declared closed at 6.45 p.m. Thank you very much, Thanks. gentlemen. Thank you.